video. Um, here I uh, finally got around to cutting the case. Um, been wanting to do it for a while. I just haven't had the time. Um, you see I've cut out the bed, um, cut out for an electrical outlet in the back. Um, the front hole there, that's for a fan. Um, I didn't want to do a video of cutting it out. You just mark everything and cut it. I cut it with a jigsaw with a metal blade. Um, it was relatively easy. Um, and then I bolted it down. Um, so now it's uh, basically um, part of the stand. Uh, won't go anywhere. Um, and that's about it. And we'll carry on. All right. Well, um, here it is all back together. Um, you see I added a fan to the front. Um, I haven't wired it in yet. And there's the bed cut out. Um, there's the power for the fan. Um, yeah, you can see why I wanted to cut out. Uh, I want to run a rotary. Um, I'm going to be building a couple, try them out. Um, and uh, yeah, that cup is well, three and a half inches wide. So um, there's no way I could do it with, uh, without cutting the bed. Um, while I had the gantry out, I made sure it was square. Um, needed a little bit of adjustment, wasn't bad. Um, and type, made sure all the belts were tight. Um, everything was working pretty good there. Um, put it back in, did the alignment, um, made sure all the beams were parallel, um, and then centered everything. Um, when I put the gantry back in, I had it too far to the left. Um, didn't give myself any any room for adjusting the mirror uh, to center it. Um, so I had to move that over, but that wasn't a big deal. Um, now with the inside, you're going to have to excuse the, uh, the mess. Um, I'm not done yet, so everything's a bit of a, a jumble of wires right now. Um, but if you can see back there, um, put in the, the back hole there was cut for a standard outlet. The outlet's been, um, separated. Um, you just break the tabs between the, the connectors, um, and they become two separate outlets. They'll be wired, um, to switches. Uh, one will be for the exhaust and one will be for the air assist. Um, it's grounded over to the case ground. Um, and then running through to this junction right here. Um, you can see I've added um, two more little power supplies. One's a 12 volt, the long one. Um, that'll be for uh, powering the front fan and the LED lights, which will they'll both be switched as well. Um, the little one is for, it's five volts and it's for running the new laser pointer um, and the temperature gauges um for the water supply uh there'll be two of them um here this is what we'll be replacing um you can see this this machine's only a month old and um the battery on the top one's already gone uh, i don't care so i'm not going to do anything about it um but i'll be replacing those um the there'll be two temperature gauges uh one for the going into the tube and one coming out of the tube um Keeps a better idea on how hot your tube's getting. Um, so on that, um, we'll also be changing um, this over. We're going to be getting rid of the digital display. Um, we're going to go analog. Um, so the next video, we'll I'll show you how to do all that. Um, we're putting in all the test switches and making sure everything's all still functioning the way it should be um, using this power supply. Um, yeah, the idea is basically the same in, in the other one, um, but it's uh, without the pins. Um, this one makes it a little bit harder using the pins. You can see the brick back there, uh, power brick. Um, the, let's see if I can tilt this and stay in focus. The Cohesion 3D board has been installed. Um, I took the plate off, drilled it, moved it over. Um, I didn't want the power supply sticking out the side. Um, I wired the power supply directly to the power junction. Um, I did not cut the original cord. I had another one that uh, was older. Um, it was from an Xbox, maybe. And 
um, just change that and, and use that instead. So if I ever if something goes wrong with the the board, um, I can send it back without having to worry about it. Um, you know, having all the parts. The, the board was super easy. Uh, um, you know, there was no no fancy tricks about it. Um, you know, it's basically plug and play. Unscrew the old one, screw in the uh, screw on the new one, and plug them in. You know, there's only four connectors on it. Um, tested it out, works fine. Um, and the reason why we're going to uh, analog is this this board um, is taking up way too much room. Um, I have better better things I can I can do. I want um, um, I, I have the digital display for the cohesion board, so I want to have that in there. Um, and there is just no room. Um, let me see here. Let me grab it. Excuse me. Uh, you can see. Here's the board for the cohesion. There's just nowhere to be able to put this. It's just not going to fit. So, um, you know, it's, it's easy enough to switch this over to analog. So if you're interested in, in seeing uh, uh, how that's done, that'll be the next video. Um, so this is a quick update on cutting the case and some electrical I'm working on. Um, anyway, the uh, I'm going to be shooting the... Um, digital to analog video next um, within the next 20 minutes I'll start it so you probably see both of them at the same time so uh, I'm gonna upload them right away but um, that's where we're at so far uh, just a quick update um, hope you enjoyed and uh, talk to you later okay.